Hello there, everybody. Dan Calloway here. And um, today I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, I haven't done a video here in a few weeks. Um, and I recently upgraded my system on my Windows 10 Pro machine. I've got, uh, instead of a uh, Barracuda one terabyte mechanical drive, now I've got a uh, SanDisk uh, SSD one terabyte drive inside or internally installed. Uh, let me tell you, this, this thing flies now with that uh, SSD uh, drive replacing the mechanical. Much quieter, that doesn't uh, have any heat associated with it, of course, no mechanical parts to move or, or anything, and it just uh, it's made a big difference. Um, boot time on my machine now, Windows 10 Pro, from a cold startup uh, to login screen, it used to be a minute 50 seconds um, with mechanical drive, and it was a fast drive. Um, now it's like 24 seconds. I mean, it's it's extremely fast, so I'm really happy with it. But anyway, um, today I want to uh, talk about a program that I installed uh, recently. I just purchased it. Uh, I was using Macrium Reflect as my backup software. It was okay. It's a free version that I was using. I wasn't using the paid version, uh, so it was limited, but uh, it did the job. But I've got another product that I just recently uh, purchased called Acronis True Image 2019. And I used Acronis to create a pen drive um, that I've labeled and put aside now. Um, I bought the retail box set from Acronis.com and I used the key to get to the uh, bootable media download page and I put my key in. Uh, for the software and it generated a 64 digit key which then let me download software that I then used Rufus which is uh, a uh, an application you can use to take an ISO file and uh, create a bootable image from it. It's a 640 meg um, ISO file and I created now a pen drive that's got a Cronus 2019 on it so I can go to any computer uh, in my house and I can clone uh, that drive using that pen drive. Um, I use that in fact to clone uh, my Barracuda one terabyte that was uh, running my Windows 10 Pro and I used it to uh, clone the uh, SanDisk SSD which uh, took only 34 minutes, about 34 and a half minutes to do. Uh, using Mac and Reflect take, took uh, several hours. Uh, and I think the reason for it is because Macrium does a sector by sector clone, whereas Acronis does not. So let's get into Acronis. I just, I'm not going to get them into a deep review of it. I have started using it. Um, so as I use it, I will come back. Let me go ahead and open it. And there it is. And so here's the Acronis True Image 2019. <clears throat> it uh, was only $34.99. From Amazon, and here it is right here. So this is a great uh, software application, by the way, uh, for backing up, doing your backups, and for cloning and that kind of thing. It's wonderful. This is the backup screen. Here's my Win 10 desktop you see here, and I've got um, an H drive out here, which is the old Barracuda drive, which has now been cleaned using Dispart in uh, Windows 10. Uh, and I've got one partition of 931.5 gigabytes. I just did a backup yesterday, um, and it's 221 gigabytes in size. It was uh, backed up yesterday as of 12:55 p.m. And here's the basically a snapshot of what's backed up. I've got 5.7 gigabytes of pictures, uh, 46.7 gigabytes of videos. Uh, 5.6 gigabytes of audio files, one gigabyte of documents. 26.5 gigabytes of system and 135.6 gigabytes of other. Okay, um, here are the options if you want to uh, look at that. What I've done is I've got uh, options for scheduling the backup. I do a weekly backup on Friday. Uh, today is Sunday, so I, my next backup will be next Friday. I have it backing up at 3 a.m. Uh, so that it doesn't interfere with anything. If I go down to advanced settings, you can see here that I've told it to wake up the sleeping hibernating computer. So if this hot computer happens to be sleeping or hibernating, it will be uh, awakened uh, so that the backup procedure can take place. Um, I also told it to prevent the computer from going to sleep 
for hibernating during the backup process, and also to run the missed operation uh, at the system startup with delay of five minutes. Okay. Um, the backup scheme here is as follows. I've got a custom scheme set up. What I've done is I've got an incremental backup method that I'm using. So it creates a full version backup every five incrementals. And so I've got one full version now. And uh, it'll create five incremental versions. And then it will create another full backup. All right. So that it doesn't take up too much space and uh, overcome the drive. I've told it to delete version chains that are older than 60 days, uh, which I think is, uh, you know, fairly good. The notifications, I can set it to where I could send an email to myself when it's uh, doing the backup process. I'd have to set up the settings here. I haven't done that yet. Um, the exclusions, I'm just going with the default here, um, which look pretty good for me. Uh, for excluding files that I do not want backed up. These are basically temporary files, cache files, etc., etc. And then there's an advanced section over here um, for image creation, uh, backup protection, pre post commands, backup splitting, validation, uh, backup reserve copy, removable media settings, error handling, computer shutdown, and performance. If I click on performance, you know, you can go in here and I've told it to do a maximum performance here uh, during its backup process. Okay, so one of the other features of uh, Acronis True Image 2019 is it's got an archive. So you can archive files and folders. Um, on my um, SSD drive, which is now my internal drive C, uh, which contains my Windows operating system, um, it's got a bunch of files on there that you don't necessarily want uh, to hang around on the drive. So if I click into File Explorer, you can see here that uh, out on the, this PC OS M drive here, uh, it's got Partition C, Users, uh, DataApp, Data Pioneer is my um, user name in Windows. And then I've got a documents folder. Here's the downloads folder. So some of these things here, you know, like DaVinci Resolve, uh, VirtualBox, Executable, Acronis True Image, ISO file. This is what I used, by the way, to to use uh, to take Rufus and build the uh, Acronis 2019 pen drive. See, these files don't need to reside out on my C drive and take up space. And so basically, what I've told uh, Acronis to do is archive those files. Okay, the last archive operation was done uh, today, okay, it was successful, and it analyzed the home folder and, and, and did that for me. I can select a different folder if I like, all right, and so now I've got 47.2 gigabytes of files sitting out there on that M drive, uh, which is a virtual drive, basically, um, that is off the C drive and not taking up space, and so this is a very useful thing to have. If I click Options here, um, I told it that I wanted it to be named Win 10 Archive. I have not chosen to encrypt it, but I can do that if I like. Okay, very nice uh, thing to have. Syncing here. Um, at some point, I may go to the Acronis Cloud. I'm not really sure. Um, it is a paid service, so I don't know how much it is. But I've got my own personal cloud, so I I really don't need it. Um, but it would be nice to have an Acronis Cloud, uh, you know, an account where I can synchronize files and maybe access them uh, through a mobile device, um, you know, offline uh, or out of sight here for, uh, you know, not being able to sit ne necessarily in front of my computer. Here are the tools that are available in Acronis True Image. I've got Clone Disk. If I click that, I can clone the disk. I'm not going to do that. Um, but if I wanted to clone a disk, it goes through the whole process. It's very easy to, by the way. Um, it's basically a click, click, click operation. I mean, when you click on clone disk, it goes out. It, it uh, analyzes the disk for your uh, looking for the uh, Windows 10 Pro or the operating system itself. Looks for that drive internally. When it finds it, that's the one it analyzes. It comes back and tells you, um, you know, where's 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 the destination drive you want to clone to? Um, and if you have the drive of the same size, no, no big deal. It'll actually 
uh, set that up and uh, it, it uh, mirrors the partition scheme of your original drive, your source drive, and clones it right over. Like I said, uh, a one terabyte drive took about 30 minutes and the reason for it is it didn't do a sector by sector. And what I mean by that is it only looks at the data that's on the drive. It mimics the partition scheme but it doesn't copy sector by sector the entire partition, every partition that's on C drive. And there are like five of them there. Some of them are even protected. Um, and so um, that also allows you to clone to a disk of a smaller capacity than the one that you currently have as a source. So let's say you have a one terabyte um, hard disk internal and you want to uh, clone that out to a 500 gigabyte uh, SSD external. Um, what you can do is uh, you can, if you've only got 200 gigabytes of data um, on the C drive, system files and everything, it will actually clone it uh, to the 500 gigabyte drive. A Cronus will do that, Macarim Reflect will not do that. So this is a nice feature in a Cronus True Image. You've got a Rescue Media Builder. I'll be taking a look at that later. I haven't really looked at it. Cronus Universal Restore. You can uh, do Parallels, which is a Mac uh, uh, application for uh, you know running a virtual uh, Windows or whatever. That's called Parallels. Um, try and Decide. Um, not sure what that's about. System Cleanup will clean up your system. A Cronus, a Cronus rather Secure Zone. Um, not really sure what that does either, so I'll have to look at that. A Cronus Drive Cleanser actually cleans up the drive, does the janitorial work. Third-party tools, um, if I click on that, let's take a look and see what we got there. Um, here's some things that are available here. Um, looks like you can, can read all about it here, and you can decide whether you, I think some of the, most of that's probably paid, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and close that. And whoops, I got out of a Cronus. Let me get back into it. And then all tools are here. Okay, Cronus also has something called Active Protection, which I really appreciate. I really enjoy. It's called Active Protection, and it's on. And what it's doing basically, it's defending me from ransomware uh, for my hard drive, which is uh, SSD. And it's looking at files, memory, backups, operating system, and NAS. I do have NAS, network attached storage. Six terabytes of network attached, attached storage. It's also protecting me from uh, illicit crypto mining uh, at the CPU level and in networks. And right now it's monitoring 19 processes, 266 total of uh, that process is running on Windows 10. Um, if I look at, uh, well, like going back to ransomware, a lot of people don't realize with ransomware, um, if you take your backup and you back up to a drive externally um, from your system, uh, if it's connected to your computer and you get hit with ransomware, ransomware just, just doesn't affect the internal hard drive. It affects any drive that, you're, that that machine is connected to. So if your backup resides on an external drive, you know, say like in a, a dual bay or a single bay um, enclosure, it'll actually encrypt that too. Uh, and I'm being protected with this, and so that's uh, that's good. It also ransomware goes out and, and encrypts anything on the network as well. So if you've got network attached storage, uh, it'll go out and take your personal cloud, if it's like I have, and it'll encrypt that too. Um, and so it's looking at the NAS, and so it's protecting me with that. Really, really appreciate that. Activity here, um, active protection was turned on on 5-17-2019 at 7.50 p.m. I can manage the processes here uh, by clicking on the uh, manage processes link. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything going on right now. It says it's managing 19 processes. If I click that link, there they are. So here are the processes that are being managed currently. Let me go ahead and close that. All right, here's my account, the Acronis True Image, um, and then settings here. Um, I can change those if I like, import from a file, I can save to a file, so I can save this out to a file, and then if something happens, I need to reinstall Acronis. I can just reinstall Acronis and then go grab the uh, file that I saved and restore everything that I have here. Okay, so I just wanted to 
preview real quick Acronis uh, True Image 2019 great product uh, you can go out to acronis.com so let me go out there uh, acronis.com and you can uh, when you buy the software by the way you can buy the boxed software which is what I do I have them send me the CD and then I can set up an account and this is my account here you can uh, set up and register for a free account uh, set that up and then when you get your box to uh, Acronis 2019 true image you can go up here log in and you can register that uh, serial number that comes inside the box set and then you're good to go you can create your pen drive uh, because it'll give you the link to the download the bootable media you're good to go just like I am right now for cloning things uh, any machine in your in your land alright so uh, that was a Cronus uh, 2019. Have a nice day.